the first episode of Death Row Executions. In the United States, there have been over 1,500 executions carried out since 1976 when executions were reinstated. On this channel, we will take a brief look into the lives of some of these convicted felons who met their fate. For our first episode, we will take a look at Jimmy Lee Gray. Jimmy Lee Gray was born on September 25, 1949 in California. Although there is not much on his early life, it has been documented that in his younger years, he was known for being a loner and having a violent temper. This cannot be disputed because at the young age of 18, he killed his first victim on January 5, 1968. His first victim was his then 16-year-old girlfriend, Elda Prince. Gray heinously suffocated Elda and then sliced her neck and left her dead near the Colorado River. Although his first murder was gruesome, it was not the murder that put him on death row. Gray was sentenced to 20 years in prison for this murder, but only served seven and was then put on probation. Gray moved to Mississippi while on probation and stayed in an apartment complex where he found his next victim. Gray's neighbors had a three-year-old daughter by the name of Duressa Jean Sills. One day in 1976, Gray lured innocent Duressa into his home by telling her there were animals for her to pet. Gray then kidnapped Duressa and drove over 30 miles to a remote wooded area where he then raped and sodomized her. As if this was not evil and vicious enough, he then tried to drown her in a shallow, muddy creek. After feeling satisfied that he had killed her, he began to walk away only to hear her gargling face down in the shallow water. He walked back to poor Duressa and smashed his boot on the back of her neck, breaking it. He then picked up her lifeless body and threw it over a bridge. For this crime, Gray was sentenced to death, spent seven years on death row before finally being executed. The reason it took so long was because his legal team kept trying to appeal his sentence, which was delaying his execution date. On Gray's execution day, September 2, 1983, he requested Mexican food for his last meal. After his last meal, he went to a communion service and ate pizza that was brought by ministers. Gray then walked into the gas chamber with his head down and got strapped in. As shown in the picture, behind the inmate's chair, there is a vertical iron bar with no headrest. As Gray started inhaling the toxic gas, he started convulsing and banging his head around, which caused his head to repeatedly hit this iron bar behind him. Some reporters say he died from hitting his head and not the gas. After repeated blows to the head, he finally lost consciousness, but because of the graphic scene, officials cleared the room eight minutes in. Doctors later came out with the statement saying that he died within two minutes in a prompt and easy death and that the gasps and convulsions eight minutes later were all involuntary movements. Reporters refute this claim. It was later reported that the executioner Barry Bruce was drunk. Despite the difference in opinions on the time of his death, it was because of his death that the state of Mississippi changed the law for inmates sentenced after July 1st, 1984, in which lethal injection can be the only method of execution in the state of Mississippi. If you made it this far, thank you so much for taking the time to listen and watch the first episode of Death Row Execution. Feel free to like, share, comment, and look out for the next episode.